So what I have here is a Schlag encode lock that runs off AA batteries, this AA battery pack. And I'm using lithium batteries to run my Schlag encode. However, the Schlag encode does not work with all these lithium batteries. But it so happens that if you load this slot and this slot with lithium and load the regular alkaline batteries in these two slots, you can then cause your Schlag encode to run off the lithium and it will probably last longer. However, this is not recommended by the manufacturer. It is recommended to run these alkaline batteries. But if you're forever having to change your batteries on this lock set, I think you could benefit from using these alkaline batteries. After this, uh, later on in the video, I'm going to show you the reasoning behind the way this works, the way I think it works, and then you can try it for yourself, but this is just so an So what experiment. I'm going to do is take this pack and put it into my lock, and I believe this is going to be lasting a lot longer. What would happen if we use these lithium batteries here and load our encode lock with these lithium batteries instead of this, of these alkaline batteries. Well, what happens is it doesn't work because the manufacturer is expecting the voltage to be close to this 1.587 volts that you would get with this battery. And they're not expecting this higher voltage from the lithium if you put these um, all batteries in this pack. And I've experimented with this and it doesn't work. And by the way, this is not to be tried uh, if, if you want to keep your lock warranty. This is just an experiment I'm showing you. But what does seem to work, um, I'm not sure if it's going to cause damage to your lock, but if we were to use two of these batteries, these lithium batteries here, and two of these alkaline batteries here, it does work. The, the lock works anyway. Uh, so what happens is this bank is, ser is in series and this bank is in series. So it ends up that um, we are just hooking either lithium batteries together in series or we're hooking the alkaline batteries in series. And we're taking basically um, bank one is going to be running at the lithium voltage and bank two is going to be running at the alkaline voltage. And we're going to get this voltage here, which is uh, quite a bit, a little bit, quite a bit higher than what we would experience if if we had all alkaline but what we're going to get out of this is a, lo a lot more life in our battery packs a lot more amp um, amp capacity um, and so what we do then is um, we're able to measure these two um, leads here this lead here and this lead here and we end up getting this 3.73 volts which is um, a great amount of voltage relative to just you know, running alkaline. 